previously on Danganronpa V3. I wonder if this, like, a gun of man's passion. I've got an extra one of these. I wonder if this would work for, like, any guy, though. Well, let's try it out. Thank you. I can tell you put a lot of time and thought into this. Thank you. Give me something this wonderful. We should give you something in return. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, you seem to like it. You gave me a, my man's nut. Yes, thank you. Ugh. Come here, Cardi! Yes, I knew it! Man's Nut is ultimate aphrodisiac! And now back to a new killing game. Hello! Sneaky Bee! Back with some more Danganronpa V3. When we last left off, we uh, began putting our plan into action, Shuichi and I, and uh, we also encountered uh, Rintaro and uh, Ryoma uh, fighting with each other. With Ryoma saying he'd sacrifice himself, or Rintaro saying he's going to do his own thing. Now, you might be wondering, where exactly am I right now? Well, I actually took a... Uh, I went back a little bit, because it turned out that there was a, uh, a scene that I had missed um, that required a certain item. Uh, one of those item triggering scenes. Uh, I missed it because I took the short way to get to the dining hall uh, the morning after we had first investigated the library with Shuichi. If I talk to, I think I said if I talk with Sumigi, who uh, should be inside the main building, uh, something will happen. So, and I didn't want to miss, you know, some of these cool bonus scenes because those are always, I think, quite hilarious. I mean, come on, look, the man's nut, right? Fucking man's nut. So I thought I'd go back and uh, see if I could uh, get that scene for us. So I think she should be in here. But anyway, yes, you guys recommended I should start uh, uh, go taking the long way to get to the dining hall. Uh, is she in here? Uh, oh, so somewhere. See Tenko. Maybe. Maybe. But take the long way to get to the dining hall as opposed to the short way, because uh, otherwise you'll miss out on uh, conversations with people. All right. I think this might be it. I think it was triggered with a with the nail uh, brush or something I had. Uh, huh? What's wrong? Seems like. Look at this. My nails are all messed up. It probably happened when we came here, and now I can't take good care of them. Um. Y your nails? Um. I understand. You're surprised that plain old me cares about my nails, right? No. Well, not really. When you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've never done it before. I see. Oh, I see. Nails would just plain get in the way while playing piano, huh? Yeah. E yeah. Uh, oh, I know. I can give you this nail brush if you want. Thank you. Huh? Are you sure? Well, I can't just take it for free. Jeez. Don't worry about it. I've got, like, I think, like, three of them. You can't. No, no! For things like this, we need an equivalent exchange. <laughs> no! Uh, oh, Jesus. Um, equivalent exchange? Do you want to try? Uh, uh, oh, I got it. How about I do your nails later? Would you like to leave? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yay! Yay! Please do. All right. Let's do it this afternoon. Oh, we can use the game room. Good job. Got it. Thanks a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, see you later. Nails, huh? It's gonna be my first time. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Girl moment. Okay, so I guess I have to do it afterwards. All right, well, I guess I'll go a little bit further. Oh yes, by the way, also, you pointed out when uh, Monokuma was looking at his kids, uh, his uh, Monophony was the only one to actually lick back. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Monophony? No, I lick you! You don't lick me while I'm licking you! That's Frenching! Don't you get it? Uh, okay, uh, it's free time, so... Can I go meet her now or something? Hmm, maybe not yet then. Well, I guess on the bright side, this does give me a chance to, uh, to hang out with some more people. And since I couldn't get another scene with Shuichi last time, I probably will be able to this time. Okay, I'm hoping just giving him some tea will be enough for this. Um, I'll take good care of it. It'll help soothe my anxiety at dark times like this. No! What the fuck? Tentu tentacle machine? Oh my god! Is that a dogger up another episode reference? I think it is. Like, we all remember that. Oh, hey, another one, new one. Ha hand grips. A device for grip training. The strength of a punch is determined by grip strength, weight, and speed combined. <laughs> An extremely handy reacher grabber. Once you use it, you can't live without it. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Can't escape this goddamn thing. Yes! Cufflinks! Oh man, the very last one I got! That's exactly what I needed. Damn it, this better be fucking it up. To push Shuichi over the edge. Take more cufflinks, man. Hope you don't have enough of them yet. Thank you. Cody, thank you. Never see something like this. I'm so happy. Oh my god! It's the most amazing thing ever! But please, come on! Level up! Oh, 
Are you gotta be kidding me? What? I gave him two things that he absolutely loved, and he still wasn't enough to get him ready? Fuck me. And me meet up with Sumigi. I should head over. Oh, okay. Here we go. So just automatically proceeds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go, Sumigi! Go! Bonding time! Uh, huh? Huh? Why are you so excited? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just so excited. Never had my nails done before. What? It makes me feel just plain pressured when you look forward to do it to, to do it so much. <laughs> I'm not that good at doing nails, so don't get your hopes up too much, okay? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Why are your eyes sparkling so much? <laughs> Sumiki asked me to extend a hand and began to paint my nails. Hey! Okay, how's that? Aww. Oh my god, so cute! How did you get it like that? Aww. I just painted a pink gradient on them. N <laughs> That's all? God, I don't even recognize my own fingernails anymore! They're so cute! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, calm down. It's plain to see. With a gradient like this, you can make even plain nails. Hey, now. No, they're short, but they're shaped nicely. They shouldn't get in the way of playing piano. That's right. Yeah, this should be fine. I never knew you could get your nails done when they're when they're short. Huh? Um, come to think of it. Uh... If you are a pianist, you could just put on thick nails when you're not on the pi piano. No. Oh! Hey. Hey, what are you two up to? You know? No. Hey, Rintara, look! Smiggy did my nail nails for me! What? I'll show them off like there's something flashy. Good job! But they're super cute! Wait! They're not that amazing. Something like this is just plain basic. <laughs> oh, pinching your nails, huh? You know, I can do that too. Huh? Huh? You can? But you're a boy! What was that? Hmm? Could it be you've done it for a girlfriend? Or girlfriends? You normie, you- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Sumigi's such a fucking weeb. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no girlfriend or anything. What? What gave you that impression? Oh my. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't have one. Seemed like you're one of those types. <laughs> one of those types? Hey. That gradient is nice. But with short nails like yours, Kaede, I would make a, recommend a French slant. Hmm. What are you, like the ultimate cosmetics guy or something? French slant? slant? Is this some kind of cooking technique? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a kind of design. It'll be faster to show you. May I? <laughs> You'll do for me? Then yes, please! Alright. Alright then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at Sumiki's face! Even though he said yes, please, now that Rintaro's actually holding my hand. Well, easy there. You gotta stay still, right? It's not gonna try to be like, Rintaro's like, like a girl or something, right? Not gonna do a re reverse Fujisaki on me. Don't pull that shit again, alright? Stop fucking with me! Uh, okay. Why am I getting so flustered? Hey, Rantaro, th that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm almost done. Oh, Kai's getting the fucking hot. Oh, Shuichi, I've changed my mind. I love Rantaro now. No. <laughs> Please hurry. <laughs> <laughs> With Sumiki gel jelly there. Done. The idea is you paint your nails in two colors diagonally like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is super cute, too. My nails look really fancy with these two-tone design. That's true. Painting them diagonally makes them look long and pretty. Now, I don't have any with me right now, but some rhinestones would look perfect. Um, rhinestones? How should I put this? Yeah, they're they're fake gemstones for your nails. I see. Mm, you're really good at this, Rintaro. That's right. I mean, you're actually the ultimate nail artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is nothing special. I used to do this all the time. Hmm. For a girlfriend, maybe? No, oh, no. No, didn't didn't I tell you? It's not. How should I put this? Just for family. Nothing romantic. But anyway, Sumiki's staring daggers at us. Did I do something? Yes, uh -huh. peace. Mm -hmm. What a what a show off. Damn normies. Go back flip onto a landmine and explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! Oh she was. She was jealous. She was getting like shown up by Brentaru. Fuck you! After having a great time with thanks to Sumiki and Rintaro, I went back to my room. Ah, uh, that was nice. I wonder if that, does that use up my free time? Or can I still get one more? Yep, okay, good. Gives me one more opportunity to fucking make sweet love. 
Wishuichi. Okay, I don't have any more cufflinks, okay? Let the ginger tea be enough. To put a lot of time into this. Oh, this thing's so wonderful. Please, God! Come on! No! What the hell, Shuichi? I don't understand. Why is it so hard? I don't understand. What do I have to do to impress you, man? All right, well, with that, I did the bonus thing, and now we're gonna continue with uh, where I previously left off. Uh, just so you know, my, my level is gonna go down, but that's only because I had actually recorded this beforehand. I wanted to get this extra scene before uh, we started getting into the serious shit, you know? But anyway, now back to where we previously left off. That's a moogie, whoa. Good morning, good morning, Kade. Um, morning. Hey. Hey, so earlier, I saw Suichi. Huh? Uh, huh? What? Um, um, I saw Suichi come out of Miyu's research lab. Yeah. Uh, oh, you, you don't say. Uh, I wonder what he was doing in there so early in the morning. Like I thought. I don't think anything... Think that think anything happened, but in a life or death situation like this... Do you want to try? What? You expect people to suddenly develop things for each other, right? <laughs> do you want to try? <laughs> Fine, okay. It's always Suichi's I'm putting out. Let's just, let's just do this. I don't give a shit. Um, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's not the time for that. Time us up tonight anyway. We can save that orgy for later. After going through so much, it's strange. But I feel like I've come to accept him. Uh, I've just been the last day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is a notch a lot like. I can nerve every time Shuichi leaves us. He's just like, so walking here, he's fucking dead. Sorry, no. my Shuichi. Uh, it's alright. I just got her too. Um, how'd it go? Didn't you finish the cameras? That's. She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Uh, anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Hmm. So there's special cameras. We'll have to mainly wind the film, right? No. Yes, Miu thought of that. She actually she told me that the cameras will wind automatically. Oh, wow, cool. I see. Once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered. Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent, not to attract attention. I see. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's... I don't know if the room is supposed to be dark or not. Hopefully it isn't. But if it is, and a flash goes off, I think they might notice. Please silent. This is perfect. Well, they need to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. <gasps> Do these cameras have flashes? Yes. Yeah. yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. It shouldn't be a problem. But, but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed, though. Me and Modify them to our specifications. Then... All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we sit up in the library. Huh? huh? Tell me about this classroom? Is that all right? Yeah, yes. I think this will be the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um, that's fine. But why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Ah. Oh. Look, you can see the staircase, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey! There's one more reason I chose a specific classroom. One more reason? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it's because of the bee! Oh, ventilation. Air vent. Uh, is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. I recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? I'm sure she told me that. I leaned in closer to the vent. <gasps> oh, it smells like must heal books. Is this leads to the library? Oh. It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember, the duct we noticed in the basement hallway. It leads here. Ah, uh, I see. I see. But a vent in a classroom? It's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about the school is odd. Uh, um... This vent is the other reason I chose the specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should be able to watch this carefully, too. Hmm, I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. My boobs are too big! I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. All right, let's go. Time to execute. So where'd you want to place the cameras? You're right. The same with the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm-hmm. If we place the camera to face the moving bookcase. Okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Mm. Then where are 
Are we putting the two other sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the, the hallway. The same one at each entrance. That way we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? But how about over there? Um... Do you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Yeah. Wait, should we make sure a person could actually fit through it? That's... I think it'll be fine. This will be keeping watch in the classroom. But we should investigate a little more, just in case. But we can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. Oh, I know! The step ladder! Isn't it just the ladder? God dang it, shut up, Shuichi! Uh, well, I could probably use this ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. I can see up your skirt, Kaede. By I know! Way, can you see my, um, delicates? <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry. Sorry, huh? So you did see them. They have musical notes on them. It's kind of what I thought they'd be. Well, whatever. He can't unsee them. Anyway, <laughs> this is the vent. There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I get take the grate off? There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. <laughs> Saw a look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. <laughs> Push the grate into the duct. Then lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. With that, I began arranging the books around the vent. Good. The only way to get through is if I karate chop their way through. Like me! After finish stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kade, what's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's butt ballads. No? I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. The setup is perfect. Uh, um, you really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind. And then we'll all escape together. Oh, right. Let's hurry up and set up the cameras. Then... Yes, I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras before, between books, so that... Uh, oh, hold on. Night idea while it's on top of the bookcase. What if we place the camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But... Uh, but with all the books stacked on top, I don't know if there's room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test out... Test it out while you prepare the sensor in the bookcase. I'll organize the books top of the bookcase to see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way, we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, it sounds like a good oh, idea. Right. All right, let's do it. I climbed the ladder and looked into the top of the bookcase. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stacks oh, of right. books. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I reorganized organize the books bit by bit. Jeez, uh, there are too many books. I'd be too hard to set the camera up here. I knew it. I thought so. No. Oh, wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kade, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. I'm stubborn. <sighs> Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? Looked up in the book. Wait! Uh, Kaide, it's really time to be reading a book? <sighs> Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to organize the heavy books, but... Um... Is there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? Aww. Be easier if I could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. Hmm, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. <laughs> I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books like right? I suggested. Yeah. <laughs> You look oddly happy. Uh, um, no, I don't. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. Uh, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So about the places with the cameras. Hmm. I feel like that's going to be significant in some way, though, what we did. We decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera link to it will be set up right here. 
That way it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and this bookcase is good. Yeah, okay. They'd have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah, yeah sounds good. Mm-hmm. We'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it up carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Again. Then let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. With that, we got to work. I meticulously placed the cameras in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use a lot of duct tape so the camera will fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. All right, that should do okay. it. I finished two. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. If they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that. And signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Yes, this should do it, no doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably. It'll definitely work. Then. Alright, then the final step. Turn the sensors I on. Alright, oh, we should turn them on before we leave. Alright. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if we took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Oh god. What's gonna happen? Mm hmm. Then we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? Mm -hmm. I'd rather focus on the plan, since I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have them all in the... have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. It's true. Let's go to the classroom. Okay. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um... Uh, Kaede? About the security sensor receiver. Hey! Shield onto it, please. I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Oh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Shuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Shuichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I want to talk to you about that. Uh, um. Talk to me? Come on, we got some we got a few minutes for this love making session. You know? Come on! Give me another one of your hope fragments! It's probably not my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I'm I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business and would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... One day, I came across a murder case completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did, and they called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ulti ultimate initiative. They only solved one case. Huh? Well, even so, it's still amazing you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if... Uh, it was a really good thing I solved that case. Oh. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Ah. Later I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. Ooh. That's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, uncover the truth. 
which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um... Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm... Oh. I'm not a real detective, Kaide. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed Shuichi's hands were tremble trembling. I just sort of reached out and held his hand. Aww. Kaede. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. Oh my god, I shift these two so fucking hard. Yes! <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. Ah. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right! So I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I wanted you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. Uh, Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play the piano. See smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Yeah. After a serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, then suddenly the moment arrived. Oh. Huh? What's this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing? Time limit is almost up. Oh, jeez. They need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from oh. us? Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking? I hope this isn't some weird shit like, I'm using that hypnosis bullshit from the anime! Focus my attention on the hallway. I hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gap of the of the classroom door. Whoa, what the fuck? I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. What are Gonta, they doing? Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro too? Seven continue to walk down the stairs. Where are they going? Why? It's a big group like that planning to do. Rotaro's with them too. Let me see if it end this game. Hmm. It's almost night time, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gonto, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. One of them is the mastermind? No. It is unusual for such a big group to go all go to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That'd be bad. They'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm gonna go check out the basement. Uh, I'll come no. with you. No, you stay and keep watch, God. No, God damn it. That's she, she dashed out of the classroom. Uh, huh? Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into uh, me. Geez. Oh no. Couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. Started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body. Anxiety was getting to me. <laughs> Stupid song! Should we please come back already? 
I continue to distract myself while cleaning until Suichi finally came back. Oh god, okay. Hmm. Tade, why are you sweeping? Huh? Uh, uh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down the basement? Uh, okay. Everything's okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Ding dong dong ding! Oh! One hour, everybody's gonna die! Hey, hurry your ass up! Hmm. It's only one hour until the time limit. Uh, yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure the mastermind will soon make their move. They'll make the move soon. Monokuma's going to show up. When time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happened so suddenly. Oh! oh. Heart nearly left out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. Shuichi, the receiver! That's it! So we'll move the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede! Suichi so sprinted out of the, the classroom with the determination of the true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. Okay, we're gonna do this! Alright! Kade, let's go inside. Yeah. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had I balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine, everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Suichi who had his hand on the door. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Oh Got it. Well, never mind, your, your time is perfect. You join our strategy meeting. Right! Kade is definitely welcome to join! Huh? S strategy meeting? Yeah. Well, time limit hits. We're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get the basement, so we're gonna go to the game room. Hey, hold on, both of you. Come with us. The mastermind's in the library. Uh, huh? Mastermind? Okay. Explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you game. serious? Are you serious? I don't really understand, but you just need a Aikido throw whoever's inside, right? All right. No, I I'll do it. I'll be the one to take him down. <laughs> Jeez. This is a competition. I'm gonna open the door right now, okay? We're going in. The unveiling of the mastermind so close to him, my all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Oh! As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there's no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own. Without any outside help. Hmm. Unless they went inside and closed it behind him from there. Where is the mastermind? Walk toward the moving bookcase. And then not too far from the, the moving bookcase we saw. Uh-oh. Oh! Holy shit! Rajar's dead! That was unexpected! Taro Mami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. Oh, fuck me! Nope, I was wrong! <laughs> Yay, she wishes she's alive, but no, Rataro! My chapter one class trial, our class trial, deadly life, dead! Oh, Rantaro? What in the world? What the hell is going on? Ah! Ah! Right after Tenko's screen, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Gonta here scream! Huh? Ah! Ah! Blood! So much blood! Why is it pink? Eh? Uh, huh? Oh me, oh my. Huh? Isn't that Rentaro? What's wrong with him? Hmm. You don't know? He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> She's so infected by everything. Wow. So he's the first one to die. No way. Okay. God, I thought... This seemed like there were so many death flags around Suichi. I thought for sure any moment he was going to walk out of the room and not come back. And then I was going to be like, like, oh yeah, what's happening to him? And I walk in and he's fucking dead. But how? How can you be so calm? 
Shuichi examined Ortaro's body, body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? Hey, he's dead. Oh, even the message box changed. Now it's got like blood on it. Like little blood splots. My vision began to swirl. My legs wild beneath me. But as sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why wasn't Tar here? And the monitor's off. It's no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rintaro was. Well. This means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? Killing game? There's someone who killed Rintaro and. Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean? Maybe not. Um, maybe the killing game has just started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because. The mastermind. Rintaro was the mastermind. Uh, what? The mastermind? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but Frontar was in the library before the time limit ended. That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this. After, and he's, if he's dead... No, here, huh? here comes. What? A body has been discovered! Oh, there we go! God, you guys took forever! Hey, look at me! Oh, I'm back and I'm sipping champagne? What the fuck? What is this? You're not my martini! God damn it, did they reboot my drink of choice? This motherfucker's a spit juice! Well, that's here, I'll drink it anyway. Everyone, please gather in the library. Oh, I had some shrimp there, too. Oh! Oh, I'm glad. Oh, what a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out. Way to go, guys! M Monokuma? But how? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there, because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense? How? The mastermind controlling you is... Huh? Mm -hmm. By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind is controlling me? And you think it was Rentaro? Guess again, bitch! Oh, what an imagination! Of course that's wrong! <laughs> the mastermind had died, this killing game will be over, you idiot! That's wrong! But, but... Hey. The victim was Rintaro Mommy, the ultimate who cares? Nothing more, nothing less! <laughs> huh? What, what are you talking about? Uh... Shuichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? N no. He... Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rintaro the mastermind? Huh? Yeah. He came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else in the library. Rintaro's the only one who couldn't move the bookcase. Does that mean he was trying to use the hidden door that he was the mastermind? Did Kaede set something up just to kill the mastermind or something? Because we put that big focus of her rearranging the books, right? And we also put a focus of her looking at the big metal balls at, for that one moment in uh, the warehouse. Did she, like, set it, something up to, to kill the mastermind, uh, like, as a trap or something? They walk in and uh, use the, the card reader or something? Like, a ball would... Some, she t grab one of the balls and take it with her? And then hide it up there? Why would she do that? Why would she... Oh, man. What, then what would that mean? If it was really her, though... Wouldn't that mean she would get executed? What? No. I, but... That's what it kind of seems like. I mean, it was Kaede that looked at the iron ball. It was Kaede was rearranging the, the shelf up there. And I'm sure the iron ball was probably... That fell from off the bookshelf and hit him in the head. Right? Or, so I guess somebody could have come in and hit him, but I, I'm thinking that's... Otherwise, why would it have... It, it, there was a moment where I had to actually look at the iron balls before moving on. Huh. That'd be... Unusual. Well, that means trying to hit the door and there was the mastermind? No. But if he's the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, um... Why? Why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Shuichi. Uh, the pictures. We checked the pictures. I'm sure the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. That moment, the library door swung wide open. Uh. Ah! Yeah! Oh no! What? Rentaro? But why? Really? Uh, that's Rentaro? Oh, thank God! I thought that was a pile of dirty rags! 
I see. So this ended up happening after all. <laughs> my, my. What a world this is. So full of jokes like this. How? What? This, this is a lie, right? My dearest Rantara is dead. Oh, I, I mean. <laughs> was killed! Stop it. It's the same thing. Hmm. How ironic. The guy who wanted to li live ended up dead. Well, no. No. The first one's a free. It's supposed to be, a, quote unquote, a freebie, right? So. Oh. So maybe Kade actually killed the first person, but she'll get off scot free or something. So that that's how they would get around it. That's the only thing I think of right off the bat. I mean, I guess we could assume someone came in into the library and hit him over the head, but I th they gave us way too many, like, indications earlier that. So that this is something on that could have been on Kade's mind, and the fact that she rearranged those books for like seemingly no reason. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead. The guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? Huh? No, an explanation isn't necessary. Unbelievable. Thanks for the first blood perk. There will be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. Go ahead. Well, that's said, if you're the black and new kill one tar, raise your hand. What? Wanna kill Rintara? Degenerate male! I knew it! Degenerate male can retire, didn't he? Wait! How you know boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are always committed by violent, disgusting men! Damn! Shh, that dumbass! How dare I go and get himself killed? Don't screw around! The hell did it! I'll freaking punch you into orbit! <laughs> oh, ho ho ho! Don't get so angry! Send off your graduating class with warm farewells! Rising Shiner sign. I mean, I feel like Kaide's got to be aware of it, though, right? It's getting interesting. I think she was doing it probably like she hoped it would end the killing game, but as opposed to, but I don't know. It was, it was a big risk, you know? It could have easily backfired. I'll send him off with hostility like a bunch of catty brought back the girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the exiles. Uh, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to look at a nasty dead body. Ah, uh, slurk. Ah, uh, nothing beats crashing a funeral. Way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw out a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane. Like fishing with dynamite. So, so whoever did this gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on giving you to a clerk. My heart's racing. And congratulations. With the black end who's about to graduate, please raise their hand. What? What the? No one's raising their hand. Oh, uh, what is? I mean, uh, I don't know. Like, if but if Cody raised her hand, I don't think she would be willing to do that. No one's raising their hand. Bastards. Hey, did you hear? Is, is, is this gonna make it so we do end up having a trial regardless? Hey, did you hear me? All the black in who has to do is graduate is speak up, you know. Stepping forward, what's going on? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I see how it is. The black and has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial after all. Oh, excuse me. Oh, very well then. Psycho. I will give the black and what they want and hold a class trial. Oh, I think it is. I think it is going to be in Kaide because I, I could kind of see her not wanting to raise her hand and admit that she had. Something to do with this. I get. I mean, there's no way it was an accident, you know? She happened to drop the ball up there. Oh! Wow! It's interesting. Now that's a spicy twist! Hold on! What? Wait. What the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rata's killer. So. Get it right, you know the black and will be punished, but if you get it wrong. <laughs> Simultaneous surgery! Brain and knee! Then brain surgery again! My heart's racing! Everyone beside the Blacken will be punished. Uh, everyone's beside the Blackens? Everyone? <sighs> this outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, kills! Before we can hold a class trial, you gotta investigate first! If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it! Jeez. I, I don't know. I, 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 mm, I'm, I'm, I'm torn here. It, that's what it seems like, but maybe we're supposed to... Maybe that's what we're supposed to think, right? It could, that, that's probably the conclusion they're going to come to, be like, oh, it could only have been Kaede, but there's somehow somebody else. But I think people probably will immediately jump to Kaede then. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves, too. 
Of course, the investigation what makes the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> oh, the black and tiny work has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Ching. All right, the trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. Bye bye. So long, farewell. But it makes me wonder then, like, I mean, I'm gonna be trolling Kaede. I want to see what her her train of thought right. is, you know? Ah, uh, let's get going then. Wait, wait. Where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rentaro's death, right? God, oh my God, though, I, I was, I really thought Rentaro would be like, you know, fucking Kameda, he wouldn't die anytime soon. Motherfuck, I, I'm already totally wrong about a whole bunch of shit, so I'm sure I'm probably wrong about this too. If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated huh? for sure. I don't want to be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live at least. Hmm, uh, uh. Kaede, I don't know, she's looking real nervous though. Just waiting for like an inner monologue or something. Yeah, just just a cute normal girl who can use magic, you know. Who are you? You're the last person should be calling yourself cute. Mm. Do not fret. Just imagine this is something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? You're right, Shuichi. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Impossible. I'm in trouble. I have never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We need only converse with the corpse. The corpse is not simply a dead person. This is, that is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes, by coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. Wow! Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Mm. The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. Th that, that's not the problem here. Knees. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? I mean, it's you. Uh... Eeny, meeny, money moo! Who's the killer? Only a two it knows. Weird! You, no, can choose that way! How exciting! <laughs> Everyone's confused to see the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong! W wait, wait, stop! We can't do this! We can't go back and forth accusing each other! Uh, um. For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Huh? Hey! If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this huh? case. This game's the same thing as not trusting each no. other. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. Yeah. And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder. Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Hmm. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're just so direct and uh, assertive. Um... Uh, no, I just said what was on my mind. You really are, Detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree with Suichi. Actually, you just said exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Those males are degenerate creatures who betray each other easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Allow Gonta. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I will work hard with the duo's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my okay. all. Okay. <laughs> you can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Phew, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is... All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, retard die for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So, let's get started. I have to do what must be done. That was kind of vague, though. I, But but say, she's still saying she wants to get everyone out of here, so what exactly would she be planning, you know? I don't know. I, I, uh, I, I'm so torn. It just seems so, like, very clearly it could very be, well be her, but maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the point. I've just, I need to stay focused. So, let's get started. I need to do this so poor Rintaro won't have any regrets. So we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rentaro. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. Thank you, Suichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that you need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. I mean, no, I don't know. She doesn't sound like. I feel like she would should know, right? Hmm. Huh? This isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but. It's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're not you're getting into it. Ah! You again? Fuck are you doing here? <laughs> oh, don't 
be so crude. I'm gonna bring you all a wonderful present. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, what's that face yours? Just give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like weird hug a curry face, Tenko. Seriously. Da -da -da -da! A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. That's right. More anime references. No, I'm just kidding. It's an autopsy report. <laughs> Could it be? The, de the death. Yeah. Whoops, my bad. It's a monocle file. No, you can't say the name. If you do, the, the copyright holders will come down us hard. We didn't get their permission to make that joke. You did that on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> Let me explain. The Monoku file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the blacken, because that would ruin the, cause that would ruin oh, the trials. Wrong. I don't know, maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know. Don't you know? Bye-bye. Don't screw around. Monokuma file? Like hell am I going believe, to believe something no. he made? Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its Atua contents now. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says that we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. Did we give his ultimate? The victim is Ritaro Mami. It d doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. Oh, come on. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. The victim was subject... Injected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cr cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Akuma files have been added to truth bullet section of your monopad. Doesn't matter whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm going to assume he wasn't, right? But if Rotar wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually, I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rotar is really dead. That's right. It's the Mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The Mastermind killed Rentaro. Yes. Mastermind, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Please. Kade, please explain what is going on. It's yes. no detail. Yeah, I will. Should we not explain to everyone? We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hung, hiding among us. And about the trap we had set up in, in the library to lure them out. And that someone we got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check. And discover Rentaro's body. Understood. I see. So that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. So you use those cameras and modify for this bullshit? No. Well, why would you keep something so important a secret from us? Once we knew what one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't yeah. it? Y yeah, that's right. But... Huh, but if there are cameras, would well, this case be solved really easily? Oh man, it's so boring. Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. I have a feeling it's not going to show anybody else, though, right? If that is true, like, we don't see anyone but Rintaro, then, oh, then I really am going to start thinking it's be Kaede. Huh. That is, ugh. But that'd be so weird. <laughs> then what would we do? We can't kill the main character. The culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be, it'll be case closed. Yeah. All right, let me get the cameras. So we should quickly retrieve all three cameras and rush back to the to everyone. Is that all right? Okay, I've got well. them. It's hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really tipped it down well. Because, well, I didn't really want the camera to fall, so it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember, here it's the these three cameras. Uh, um, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing! Wow, is there nothing the anything the ultimate me can't do? No. <laughs> Oh. Leave it to me. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, then just leave it to me. Huh? I'll do it. I'll develop the photos so you can ambassadors can focus on the investigation. Because if you want to guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't button noir. She ignored my ejection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. Uh, Yoink, mine! Uh, uh, I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, give us back. Leave it to me. No need to worry. We all have we all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. <laughs> Wait, get the camera back! It was pointless to yell at her. Mon Monophony left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! Oh, and there she goes. Uh, no, that was important I'm evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I I was being careless. Um, it's probably okay. She says she developed photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. 
Looks like we got no choice but to believe that. Because Atua is watching it, over us. Yes, it's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried. But you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now, just in a bigger mess. Mess. We have to see through to the end. Hey. Uh, Kaede, I have a proposal for you. Is that all right? If it's all right with you, can we keep working together during the trial? Like we're doing now? Huh? Shuichi? I love you! Oh. I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I... I want to help you. Shuichi? Of course! With you on my side, will be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Aw. Hey, so... I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words, we let the culprit work by themselves. They might try and destroy evidence, right? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us. If each of us watches the other, one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. Or no one will be able to evidence. No one, I mean. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, Logical. but... No, that's logical. Please speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the killer is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. we we suppose the mastermind will be able to escape. We could definitely do it. <laughs> no, but see there, investigation start. She didn't say find the killer, she said expose the mastermind. No. Oh, I am starting to really feel it might actually be Kaide. That's what she's hoping for. She's hoping that in this instance, we're going to she'll expose what the mastermind is, figure that out, and that's how they'll all escape, and not the fact that she might have killed somebody. I don't know. That at least that's what my gut's telling me. But I, I could be wrong. Don Ropa is always subverting expectations, so it it could just be set up that way, and that's something that everyone else is going to jump on. They'll immediately start tagging Kaede and then move on to someone else. That's probably the more likely thing, because the main characters don't usually have this, you know, the problem. Although I suppose that could be another way they're trying to subvert expectations, but it just, it just seemed kind of obvious. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end it here for now. Anyway, like it for if you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe now, become Peaky Penguin, aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!